Hey, we got a hot new Galactic Challenge out. This time we're looking at Old Republic up against Resistance, which could be a favorable matchup in some respects. I think that this actually ended up feeling kind of rough. I was able to find some modding that felt a little bit more stable. Uh, this is the team that I ended up winning with. We have, especially, I would say, fairly budget in general for, I would say, if you're a competitive player, this is probably about the prioritization you had on most people. Uh, I didn't do any moved mods here for uh, Revan, Jolie, or Bastila. The main thing I would say is Jolie should still have his Crit Avoidance Arrow, Tenacity Cross, Health, Health. I don't think that's too much of a surprise here for anybody. We just want to avoid him getting crit as much as possible. And then on Revan, should just be a general speed blend. Maybe not even that fast. Reach 12, you could hit uh, higher speeds than this easily if you just move your arena mods over Basla should just be speed and potency not the best potency cross either not the most competitive mods on her either i didn't remod her for the event that it i it wasn't necessary ultimately mission i did end up moving over some of my best damage set mods didn't really end up being that notably different honestly uh it was probably actually kind of just a waste of credits but you know gear 12 character like this is it's probably even not even that good of a damage suffer in hindsight because he's gear 12. Like this 4% offense is hitting a lot different on a gear 12, missing a lot of gear pieces, mission Veo versus if she was relic 5, like the feat suggested. So, I mean, you know, just give her solid damage mods. I actually beat this with it before moving her mods. I just wanted to try it before and after. The run that you'll be seeing is with these mods, if that's the type of thing you care about. And I would say most importantly is the mods I put on Zalbar. I have Triple defense set. I give him a crit avoidance arrow. He was still getting crit a lot. You know, of course, JTR lead inflating values. There is a decent amount of run restart RNG, and I will say that it was very noticeable when they were missing. You know, of course, JTR inflating their 30% crit chance, and there's going to be some RNG on if they're landing their exposes on top of that. Like you could try a protection here instead, but if you're if you hit the grid of wins at all, then I think you're in pretty good shape. And then we've got triple protection primary. Because mine's gear twelve, I just tried to focus on flat defense, so we got like this this mod tends to be a little bit crazy, but otherwise nothing all that. And yeah, I mean you can see no missions gear twelve plus zero. Delbar has his left side pieces, but none of the gear twelve plus. And then, yeah, we have seven combined relics on the team total. We've got Jake Era 2, Basil 1, Jolie 4. Jolie 4 feels like a pretty safe spot. I mean, you could take enough. Relic 5 being the free-to-play stopgap for when you have to start spending a ridiculous amount to get any progress forward. Mindset 4, it felt fine. That's pretty much all you need. I think that's all there is to say here. Let's just get on to gameplay. So jumping right out in. This fight had the same flow every time that I've won it so far, and it always starts off with Barking Finn here. You want to stop that combo from going off, then passing the Poe back to Finn with that grenade rotation is just going to mess up our team pretty horribly. So, just need to keep him under control until we get him killed. You'll notice that in almost every situation, we are calling Zalbar to assist here with, you know, like Jolie, for example. Bastila, we're still giving her buffs to mission, of course, and so missing a potential assist with Zalbar there, but we don't really need Zalbar eating those buffs, especially since he's getting confused a lot. Healing immunity dropping on Jolie here has actually been fairly common, I noticed. Using the turn swap to get it back off of him sooner has usually proved to be successful here. Then they're just trying to focus on healing him back up. So as we're trying to wrap up this first phase, we're basically trying to trade Mission and Zalbar for Resistance Hero, Finn, and Poe. Uh, ideally, if you, the easy way to tell if this is going your direction or not is if you get Finn down before Zalbar goes. Usually, if, especially if you hit this Revit mark here, you're in a pretty good shape in terms of kill pacing. And this actually ended up being one of the better paced runs that I had. So yeah, from here, mostly just focusing on trying to cycle Revan's Terminator where we can. Uh, they don't really have any revive blocking mechanics on their team, so 
it's okay if we lose Revan or Jolie. It's actually the easiest way to get some of that heat back off of them sometimes. But of course, we want them to last as long as we can. So it's right about now that Zubar should be dying. Don't freak out. Again, that's expected. I usually like to take Basila's targeting over to the side there on Holda when she's taunting, if we can. You know, we've got that potency modding on Basila combined with her force bond with Revan giving them a plus 70% potency. So even if CG cheats the tenacity sets there, we have pretty sick odds of landing it. One more set of Basila buffs on submission, and this at this board state right now, we're in pretty good shape. Uh, I tend to not focus on hitting JTR at all here. She does have the self-cleanse data I did check and confirm. And you can see the blind did land there, but the moment that anything else comes along, we risk potentially losing it anyway. We just, I knew that Holder had used her AoE recently, so it, there wasn't really much point in trying to use the blind on her. And yeah, so just dumping the rest of the damage on Holdo. JTR is going to quite literally burn herself out on the flame mechanic for this challenge. So, yeah, just throwing out the rest of the damage that we can. I actually thought for a minute that mission might stay alive here, but spoilers. All right, once she hits 10 of flame, then she will disappear, and so will C3PO. And that's it for the mission. All right. Well, I can't get any feats this way, but if you happen to have Higher Relic, Old Republic than I do, then this is the way I did it. So you'll have a lot stronger than I did. All right, that's it. Go get some, uh, some top tier rewards. Have fun.